Again, Tatler just plenty of other options. But Jalen Penn really starting to heat up now, and there it is again. Another lane. I've been go-karting in Indianapolis, <laughs> just never to the never there. Never to the never. On the floor for the first time tonight. Dumps it for Papper. Allie Papper trying to get two more in the foul. With four. Berger to Papper has to heave. Got it! Pat Berg pushes it across the timeline. 4.20 to play opening quarter. Pat Berg with a nice dribble drive. Feeds to Mackenzie Holmes. And had South Carolina in foul trouble all game. And the... Minnesota's, they've been to the line eight times. Indiana just twice. Three from the corner is good. in the conference and we didn't handle that kind of position in that game very well. It was a much closer game. Good blow makes it. Holmes against a double team, tries to feed it out, more than keeps. Patberg, a nice move into the paint and lays it in. Single digits on the shot clock. It's Patberg up against Doyle. Patberg, hesitation. It's been a tough shooting night, but she comes in. Now five seconds to go in the quarter. Patberg. Jumper falls. The two players here for Indiana kind of playing to this crowd as if it's the fourth quarter instead of the first quarter. <laughs> Two to shoot. Pat Bird bombs away. Yes. Wow, that has got 13 points. Pat Bird on the drive. Ah! One. Holy Pass out to Pat Berg. Pat Berg driving in on Whitish. This has been a really fun matchup, Garrett, to watch all game long. Shot from Pat Berg is good over the minimal time, just about nine minutes in the first half. Wise was wide open. The look for Nolan just didn't drop. Now here's Pat Berg for Indiana. Tries to turn the corner and drive it on Hillman. Steps into her and one. Off guard here. Nikula Shikova not caught off guard. The Serbian connects on another deuce. Pat Berg, step back, wet. They need to move around and, and move away from the ball. Steal by Patford. Goes right around Whitish to the bucket. Jar the ball loose momentarily. Patford finishes. Is that they all made the NCAA tournament. So this is a Rutgers team that looks like it's got legs beyond just the big 10 tournament. Oh, to settle for any shot that may look like a good attempt. You have to stay disciplined offensively. Six. <laughs> Patford. Nearly lost it, gets it back. Drives, dish, Gulbe, wide open. 17 points. Yaney, Patford, slashing, kicks, Holmes, connects. Again. Indiana wants to play fast. You'll see that a lot tonight. Then push and transition. And a nice push. Here's a three-pointer from Tykira Williams from the top of the key. Hard rebound, picked up by Patberg. Sprints up, one-handed dish to Holmes. Who finishes? From inside, Tykira Williams rebounded to Allie Patberg. More tempo from the Cream and Crimson. Penn got to the rack, bounce back. The guard shot tough, too. She helped on the drive, and then she recovered to gain. Patberg beat number one tonight. Pressure coming, Indiana solves it. Patberg leads to a transition, count it. Patberg perpetually with a hand in the passing lane. Here comes Jalen Penn, the newest 1,000 point scorer. For Indiana, they're going to need Allie Patberg to step up. Right now, she's sitting on one of eight shooting. Rebound diving on the floor. Penn finds Patberg. Taking it all the way in for two. She's trying to muscle it up. She got the shot off. Patberg chasing it down. What a hustle move. Finding. Here's Petberg driving, laying it up. Play straight, player on player, so they'll just pop, pop, pop. Hot defense, love it. Oh, talk about popping. Another look here for the Hoosiers. Shot clock resets to 20. Here's Petberg with the pull up. Hits. Well, she, she passes it off, and she does to Allie Forberg, who will drive it and score it. Count the basket. Able to knock down that one, and Grace Berger will come back on the counterattack. Behind the back twice there. Killed the the defender. Boston and the other bigs in that big win against South Carolina. It is a 7 nothing Miami run. That Pat Berg. Oh, Got to be careful contesting shots there. Just bothered the shot enough by Penn. And Pat Berg comes down. 
Again, the Bruins picked fourth in the preseason. We're right behind Oregon, Stanford, and Oregon State. And the two Petra Holoshinska has it squirt right through her hands, and Allie Patberg is all over it. Beautiful dish to Jory Allen. End of the game. And it's stolen away. Allie Patberg on the run. Pull up jumper. Got it. Tested well by Indiana in transition. Now Patberg leads the run. Pull up jumper. Good. Up to Jalen Penn, who's been very quiet today. Just three points. There's Patberg. Brenna Wise, the only senior for Indiana this year. Allie Pepper taking it the distance, gets the roll. Really close tie in terms of which one makes you feel most excited about. Tyler Charles surpassed you. It's off season to get herself in shape. You see her getting hands on passes now. She's even able to step down and move a little bit better. Threes on average only pop up four per game. And State's already exceeded that before the break. Uh, Pat Berg. Building here in Bloomington. That's what you have to do as the road team. Pat Berg, a deep three. Very Making deep. it a two-possession game. Hoosiers are finally starting to look and play like themselves. Pat Berg, the floater. Pat Berg, oh, around the Glossland. That's how you got it. The Terry Moore and Aaron Bloomington begin. Yeah, she really has, and uh, she does a great job right there to be aggressive. The zone still looking like it's a problem. Pepper, catch and shoot. Splash! Six seconds left in the corner. Here's Pepper for three. Makes it 22-18 Hoosiers. Here's Cedar with a crossover. Drive past Pepper, but then the shot was blocked in low. In the show on the left wing. Gets past Dilk, 16 footer on the way, money. And here's Wilson taking this one, passed inside to Pat Berg. And back to Mackenzie Holmes on the right side, knocks it down. And Williams, able to knock that one down, excuse me. Pat Berg, dribbling all the way inside to Mackenzie Holmes. You and I know both have some experience with the Missouri Valley. Pat Berg off the screen all the way to the worst. As she really has been. Be able to control the tempo of this game. All the way to the rim, and it's a 12. Otuga turns it over. Pat Berg all the way to the rim, and it's fouled. Pat Berg, wild shot that goes. And the Latvian U-20 national teamer gets her second rebound of the afternoon. Pat Berg stops and hits. And collects. Berger, Pat Berger, launches away, you bet. And steals in the Big Ten this year. Average about 12 and a half per game. Off balance shot. Pat Berg, Probin. Inside, she'll turn around and hit. Missed shots here in the game, so a big one for Penn to go retrieve. Pat Berg turning the corner for two. 69-64. What's interesting is you see Rutgers has amped up their energy defensively. But Indiana. Kiana Worthen has it. A junior out of Fort Lauderdale. Patberg thought about a three. Instead circles in for a splash. The crowd into it. Wisconsin's been right there to answer. Patberg off the glass. England. Score is going into the locker room with nine points. So she's in double digits already. Just Not giving them any easy looks, and it's showing why right now they're only allowing 25% from three. And just like that, on the other side, Allie's... Five seconds to shoot. Pat Berg lets one go, and she drains on it. on top to Berger, who seems to be running the point instead of Pat Berg. Allie Andrews beat off the dribble, and one. Hatberg's going to take the open jumper at the top of the key. She knocks it down. It's just a seven-point lead going into half, and I think that would really give them the momentum. And, you know, it's been so back and forth throughout this one. One basket lead change basically on every. Hatberg's going to take the jumper, and she gets it to go. Berger goes to work on Brown. Crossover and kick. Hatberg hits the three. 
Pittsburgh on the drive. Oh, the machine the last couple of years. They have. It's going to be a fun matchup. So tune in because that is not one you want to miss. He's in a transfer year. This is someone who would start normally but was so into it coming off the bench. And Running, plays it in. Because they know that Alley can put put up points for them. And now Patberg, yes again. Who typically will face a zone because they challenge. They get challenged to shoot it from the. Grew up near Evansville, Indiana. Likely has some family in the stands here in. Yes. Put her to the bench yesterday in the first half. She ended the game with three fouls. Patberg rattles it home.